And then that sort of got bred back into biblical interpretation. We're going to get back to it, but I, I have to say, you keep saying this as though you can interpret the Bible, when obviously that that can't be right. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the perfect word of God, you just devoid of all interpretation. Am I wrong? <laughs> I thought that's how it's supposed to work here. Some people think so. Some people <laughs> some people absolutely hold to that, and it's, uh, that's often one of the biggest difficulties you encounter in trying to talk to people about the Bible. And that's one of the reasons why I think contextual theology is so valuable. There's, there, there's an entire energy for theology that can only be found amongst oppressed peoples. That is, that is such an inspiration for the doing of theology. Mm. You know, privileged, relaxed, comfortable people can do theology, certainly, but there's less of an impetus. To, there's less of a need to do it, I think. And so when you put people, you know, in these really desperate situations, they become very theologically creative very quickly. And, and, and you get to see the product of that creativity in these contextual theologies. So yeah, they will, they will take translations. They will play with words. They will subvert expectations left and right. And they will do everything they can in order to ensure the survival of their community. Um, and, and you get in touch with a little bit of that through this contextual theology.